So sketch mm -hmm. out some ideas. I always suggest that you sketch three different ideas. So you know, you start off thinking about, all right, I'm going to draw three plans. I do them very fast, thumbnail size. Like, okay, uh, what, what, what if I do uh, the uh, conference room over there and the something office there? All right, now I'm going to try the conference room over here. Okay, now I'm going to try the conference room in the middle. All right, just do a couple of different quick ideas and then decide, all right, this is the one that really is the most likely. Let's go with that, right? So give yourself a couple of uh, choices, but do them very, very fast uh, so that you can then really feel like you're going down the right road. Like I said, there's not that many correct answers in this. Unlike the building design and everything, you can, there's a lot of ways you can answer that. This one is only a few. So you want to make sure you've identified, like, okay, who gets the windows, uh, roughly how much space is needed for each one, uh, make sure you've got all the furniture understanding. Are there any specialties like I have to be able to access directly from one room to another? And then don't forget the accessibility issues, which I think I've kind of gone through. Then you're going to start sketching out your plan. Uh, you're going to maybe in sketch mode kind of put a, couple, put a couple lines across that start giving you a sense of how things might start to be broken up. Uh, another way you might do it is some people will bring out one of the rooms uh, and they'll bring out the uh, furniture and start placing the furniture and then changing the room size to fit to the furniture. So that, that's the way that they know that they're getting the tightest uh, room uh, to fit around the furniture and then they'll move, move that uh, into position. Um, that's one way to do it. It's not necessarily the best. It's like different people will find their way. This is why you want to practice it. Uh, again, the tools are sort of uh, unusual. Uh, the furniture is all part of a tool. So there's an armchair, you put it in. There's an executive desk, you put that in. And those are all the lists of, in the program that you had to go through. Don't forget that the doors, you actually will uh, show, you have to choose the swing of the door. It takes a little getting used to because you're grabbing it out of a menu and you're looking at a plan. So you have to, you want to practice using that. It's, you get it pretty fast, but it's one of those things that's a little awkward. All right, here's a failing example. Um, and you can start to sort of take a look at kind of what makes it failing. Um, but it, it'll start jumping out at you pretty quick. Uh, this space right here, if you had that sketch mode box, you would realize that it really, the, the, you didn't have enough room next to that door. Uh, same thing with this space right there. Oop. Same, same thing with uh, uh, that space right there. It turns out if you went through the program closely, you'd, it would become clear that you needed to have uh, access uh, from these two, uh, the, this office room into this uh, conference room. Um, you know, you start seeing a, there's a bunch of very specific issues. Um, one of the things that people do all the time is they'll find that they put the bookshelf in, but they have it facing the wrong way or something like that because they're moving fast and they just kind of don't get to it. Well, if you have the, the bookshelf facing into the wall, the computer will think of that as a mistake. You probably wouldn't fail because of that, but if you had that plus another mistake, that might make you fail. Um, the biggest issues here, if you couldn't fit in one of the pieces of furniture, my guess is you probably wouldn't fail. But if you missed any of the accessibility, my guess is you would fail. So if, you have, if you're in that last second moment and you can't make both work, I would get rid of a piece of furniture as long as it's a minor piece of furniture uh, and make sure the accessibility works. Uh, obviously any of the major furniture has to be there, like the, the desks um, all have to be there, uh, all that kind of thing. So you, you see very quickly, I'm going to move back for a second here, um, uh, that as you start pulling out uh, these pieces, like I, I might have to use uh, you know, three or four or five of, of these. So this isn't telling you, like just because you've chosen one doesn't mean you're done. Um, it just means that you, are, you only have those to choose from. So if you're sitting there trying to figure out how do I do this thing because I can't find a tool for it, Stop trying to do it because there's, you're not supposed to be doing it. Uh, you're only doing the things that you've been told to do. So you have the, in this particular case, you've got the four rooms plus the fifth room, which is the reception area, which is the space that's left. So the, that reception area is always that one that's a little awkward. So here's the passing solution version of it. Uh, you can see in sketch mode, they've got the, the five foot circles everywhere. Again, you don't actually draw those for real. Um, but if you started to put them in, you could find a spot in every room that you could make that uh, fit. 
Um, they're using, in this case, the 36-inch circle to make sure that they've got enough room for a wheelchair to get through. Uh, and somebody's coming in here. This desk has visual control over the door, so somebody coming in would know immediately to talk to them. Um, that uh, you know, each of these things you can you can move through and find your way to, to each of the pieces, and that's how this stuff is going to work. Uh, so, okay. Remember, one thing at a time. Keep it simple. It's a puzzle. It's not architecture. Uh, have a plan. Know what you're going to do. Know your, how you're going to take notes. Know uh, practice the idea. Like if you've if you've done one practice uh, vignette, well then do it again, but do it with a different note taking system. Like force yourself to try different ways to really know how you're going to do this stuff, and then work it in order. Go through it one thing at a time. Analyze it first. Uh, do a uh, quick sketch version, move through it. You want to kind of build it up because you don't want to just dive straight in and start putting rooms in place or corridors in place uh, and then realize after you're 40 minutes in uh, that you made a mistake. You want to know, you want to have confidence. So build it up, start with a simple sketch, make sure it seems like it's going to work, then make it better, make it better, make it better, and get it to the end and check all the way along. Go back and read the code, use the check, uh, all those different ways to, to uh, make sure that you didn't miss something along the way.